Hello, kindergartners. It's Miss Joyner coming to you from my home. I wanted to share another book with you that is very special to me. It's actually the same author and illustrator as Goodnight Moon. And this is called The Runaway Bunny. And this book is by Margaret Wise Brown and pictures by Clement Hurd. Runaway Bunny. The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. The Runaway Bunny. This book was actually written a very long time ago. The first year it was written, the copyright, was in 1942. That was long before your parents and your teachers were born, long before that. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. Oh, look at this picture. So we see the little bunny, and you see the carrot on the end of the wire. You see the mom fishing for the bunny? Oh, the mother always is going to try to protect her little bunny. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. Look at that little bunny trying to climb up the mountain away from his mama. Let's see what his mother says. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. Oh, that's so special. The mom always is going to go after the little bunny to protect him. Oh, look, do you see when she's going up the mountain? All the way up to try to get to where the little bunny is. Do you see where the bunny is way up here? See, mommies and daddies will do anything for their babies. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. Oh, look. This is when the, the mother bunny is a gardener. And if you look very closely at the picture, look very closely and then you can see in here, do you see in the flower where the bunny is right there? And see the mother coming to find the bunny? If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny. I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. <gasps> Look at this picture, how beautiful. Do you see where the bunny has his wings? I want you to see this picture. Look 
where the mother becomes the tree. Do you see how the mother bunny became a tree for the baby to come home to? Let me go back so you can see. You see? If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. Oh, look, look at her as the wind. Do you see the mother bunny as the wind? Look at her, look. Do you see? Look at that. What a beautiful picture. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said the mother, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. Oh, look at this picture. Look at this picture. Do you see way up here where the little bunny is? And then look, his mother is the tightrope walker. Do you see her walking across to get to him? If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Look at this. Look at this picture. And do you remember when we read Good Night Moon? There's the picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And remember, just like in the other book, Good Night Moon, we have the same two characters in this book, too. Shucks, said the, said the bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. The end. Oh, look, they are. There they are together. They're home. What a special story. I love the runaway bunny. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. And I hope that you are having a good time with your family. And I really hope that you are giving your mom and dad lots of hugs because I know that they love you so much and your teachers love you too. We're thinking about you. See you next time. Bye guys.